So we'll start right here at the front before we pull it out. Uh, it looks like rain, so I'm gonna uh, try to cover the uh, engine side before we uh, pull it out into the uh, out, outside of the garage. So real quick, uh, the engine is a big block Chevy. I don't know exactly what it is. Uh, I did speak to the guy that, that built the car, or worked on the car many years ago. Uh, he said it's a, it's, he says it's a 427 uh, big block. Uh, he says it's got a roller cam in it. I don't know what cam is in there, uh, but she sounds really nice. Uh, you'll hear it here in a minute. Uh, so you've got your basics, you know, your MSD uh, coil, MSD box. Uh, you've got your starter uh, uh, solenoid on the outside to keep it from getting hot, uh, having any hot start issues. Um, the blower is a, a blower shop. Um, I don't know if it's a 671 or an 871. I, I wouldn't know how to identify it. Uh, I was always under the impression that big blocks use 871s and small blocks use 671s. So uh, it's got two Holly 850s. Uh, they are referenced, boost referenced, connected uh, uh, to the boost gauge as well. And a boost timing master to reduce uh, timing under boost. Uh, you got the power, uh, power brakes on it. They work really well. Uh, alternator, aluminum uh, radiator. Uh, has one fan on it, one large fan on it, but it's it's good enough to, to keep it nice and cool. Uh, uh, the car will sit at what, 180 in traffic uh, without getting warm. So, yeah. So, yeah, let's pull it out real quick and uh, we'll do a quick walk around outside. Here, uh, inside real quick before we before we take it out, just to look, take a quick look. Got your basic gauges, oil pressure, water temperature, boost gauge, boost timing master. The car doesn't have an electric fuel pump. So it fires right up uh, with just the key, right? Door panels are there. The window cranks, I have them, but they keep falling off and I just haven't had a chance to figure out what to do. Maybe it needs new window cranks or whatever, uh, maybe pin them or something. But every time I close the door, they pop off. Uh, the car has tinted windows, but the glass is actually tinted. It's not the window, it's, it's not the, it doesn't have that, 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 that plastic tint. The windows are actually tinted. Uh, it's like factory tinted glass, all right? Uh, it's missing a little, some few trim pieces here, here, one there. It's missing the one there on the on the B pillar. Uh, but other than that, it's all there. Headliner's good. You know, it's old. Looks maybe even original. Uh, the seats have like a diamond, diamond uh, style uh, look to them. So, you know. But anyway, let's pull it out real quick. Procedure to start it. Uh, it's real simple. Basically, you just pump it. Give it a couple of pumps, crank it. Make sure she's in park. Oil pressure jumps right up, 70 PSI right away. Motor's got real good oil pressure. As far as in here, this is the switch for the fans. That's how you turn the fan on. And uh, your headlight switch is over here on this side. Turn on your headlights. Uh, the car doesn't have turn signals, they don't work. That's something I've never gotten really, you know, had time to, to look into it. But but yeah, I know you can do the external uh, system where you can just add uh, turn signals to it. Uh, but yeah, let's uh, take it out real quick. Take a look at it before it starts raining on us. does have a clean and clear Texas title in my name. Matches up to the VIN.
We'll take a look in the trunk real quick. You use a key to pop the trunk open. Trunk's pretty clean. It's got a, uh, I want to say it's a 10 gallon fuel cell, maybe a little bit bigger than that. Um, I always fill it up uh, with about between 12 to $15 around there. So, the trunk's all there. It's, it's got the battery box in the trunk. It's pretty solid. Package trays in real good condition. Nothing to worry about there. Tail lights, stop lights, headlights all work. The only thing, like I said, doesn't work is your uh, turn signals. But all these old cars, a lot of cops don't even pay attention to them. So, as you can see here, you can see the windows have the uh, the tint. And again, that's the window itself. It's not a. It's not tinted. It's that's the window. I do have a bunch of extra stuff for it. That I haven't had a chance to install. We've been working on the Chevelle. Uh, we did a whole BMR suspension on my Chevelle, so we haven't had a chance to work on the Chevy. But uh, I've got new carpet for it. I've got floor, floor insulation. I've got new uh, rocker uh, sill plates. Uh, I've got a mount for the shifter to raise the shifter up. And then I've got some brackets that I got to move the seat back a little bit. I'm a big boy. So I got these brackets that uh, will allow you to move the seat back and give you more room. Um, then I've got a brand new set of uh, 26 by 6 uh, front runner tires from Mickey Thompson that'll go with the car. Right now it's got just some some Nexon, uh, basically what I call Volkswagen tires. I don't like those. Um, you know, on these cars, uh, the, those tires were really not rated for a heavy car. So I do have a nice set of Mickey Thompson uh, front runners for it that'll go with it. So, um, yep. Like I said, she runs cool all day. This boost gauge up here is not connected to anything. It's just for show. Uh, aluminum radiator, overflow tank. Um, yeah. So that's the car. Uh, let me put it up on the lift now so we can take a look at the bottom. And uh, we can get something going here before the rains come. I need to put my Chevelle back inside. All right, so car's up on the lift now. We'll do a quick uh, walk around uh, going uh, front to back. So starting at the front, you got a sway bar on the front of the car. Keeps the car really nice and steady. You got disc brakes in the front. Right? We'll go over to the uh, driver's side. You got the notch big block uh, oil pan for the steering. You got big tube headers. Front fender, we'll zoom out a little bit. You can see it's in, it's in decent shape, right? Got the slotted mags. Rocker panels are decent. You got a little pinhole there. This rocker panel is decent. Got a little pinhole there. Side of the body there. Look at the frame. Frame is solid. Got new mounts. This is the uh, patches I was talking about where the floor has been patched up. You can see here, floor has been patched up. New mounts here. We got the uh, Firestone uh, slotted mags, pie crust. Pie crust uh, tires, I mean. Look at the back. We got the uh, 12 bolt rear end with a sway bar as well. Keeps the car very steady. And here you can see all the fuel line and the the battery cable since the battery is in the uh, is in the trunk. So as far as any kind of rust, you can see back here this little pan area under the bumper. Got a little bit of rust there, but you know the car's always inside. It's always in the shop, so I, I, you know I'm, I'm not worried about it at all. Uh, again, you got air shocks, uh, Flowmaster mufflers. 12 bolt rear end with I believe 373 gears So she's pretty tight on the road, but she she feels great Frame on this side again Good mount there You see the floor pan repairs there Good mount there frame is nice and solid Looking at the rockers again 
this, this back uh, quarter panel got a little bit of a little bit of uh, rust there, but it's been cut out so it doesn't grow long anymore. This rocker's been repaired. Got a little bit of body filler right here on this door, but it's very thin. Probably had a little dent in there over the years. Got a little crease there in the door. Like I said, man, she's she's got her scars, right? She's got her battle scars, right? This car, from uh, talking to the previous owner, uh, said the car's been 1080s in the quarter. Uh, I'm not really into drag racing much anymore, so I really don't I really don't take out and beat on it. Uh, the rear wheel wells were radiused by a good buddy of mine that uh, builds rat rods, and uh, if I sell the car, he's gonna be pretty upset because uh, he really, really likes it, so. But yeah. Yep, there she is. So again, good old car, good old hot rod, runs great, stops great. It'll sit in traffic all day. Um, it'll sit at 180, right under 200 all day in heavy traffic. She will not get hot, even with the blower on it. As I stated earlier, I don't have a hood for it. I don't. I never intend to run one anyway. So, yeah. So there she is, um, man. I like to get thirty-five for her, thirty-five thousand for her. I think she's well worth it for a good running fifty-five with a big block Chevy with a blower. Uh, I just don't think you're gonna find it uh, something like this uh, any cheaper in this condition. So, but yeah, let me know. Let me know what you think.